Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V. In the last episode, we did battle with Omega, and after many trials and tribulations, we emerged victorious. And now we are pressing onward into the Klepta Dimension. We have another doorway here. And, uh, a little mini, uh, library. Alright, let's read these books over here first. He appeared from the sky, the one without a heart, Omega. And the one who followed it, Shinryu. Not even the heroes who hold the twelve weapons are a match for them. Yeah, never try to speak to them. Yeah, that's, uh, good advice. You could have told us that, like, ten minutes ago, or a couple days ago, whatever. And this one. A book written by a wizard, The Secret of Giga Flare. This magic leaves a moment of vulnerability during preparation. Remember that one for later, because one of the bosses in the Klepta Dimension uses Giga Flare, and he'll be susceptible to instant death attacks, uh, as he just, during the opening when he first begins preparing that attack. There's nothing in these pots. Okay, I'm going to check my setup real quick, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, let's open this one. Uh-oh. Everything's gone dark, that's ominous. But your lives are already up. Uh-oh. There's a dimensional switch in the book. Oh, there's a monster! It's a panda! Okay, I've got a uh, Bart's equipped with the Artemis bow. Since this is a beast-type enemy, it does critical damage every attack. And Ferris, I switched back over to a uh, Mystic Knight. Uh oh, and she just got slowed. But I'm going to put the flare uh, sword on Ferris. Okay, I'm going to have. Uh, let's see what happens when I summon a free. He looks a lot like Byblos, and Byblos didn't like a free. What the? If it's a three, all right. All right, let's blast my fire three. Nice. <laughs> He's terrified of a free. Wait, medicine. I guess that just undoes his uh nuts. It'd be hilarious if that kills it. <laughs> Yeah, you've already upped your defense. Alright, let's... Alrighty, a heal. Uh oh. Yeah, I probably should have given a Ferris the bone mail, or somebody the bone mail. This will probably finish the job. No? No, no, not Ferris. Oh well, Bart's will finish it up. Yeah, he's got his defense boosted. But he should be dead. There he goes. We just killed a panda! And that sounds terrible when taken out of context. We got 16 ability points for that one. And some suit, which is totally useless. Okay, well... That was interesting. Okay, I'm gonna heal up and uh, swap a little bit of my jobs around. I'll be right back. Alrighty, now let's press on. We hit a dimensional switch in that book, so now we're here on this uh, castle-y looking area. All these floating platforms. And yeah, we can see the uh, thief paths. There, we got Avis dragons. Okay, Bart, switch this over to... Uh, the Avis Killer Bow. And we'll do X-Fight. I think... Well, no, I don't think these guys are susceptible to any of the level spells. Instant ta death moves like uh, Slash won't work on them. But we, could, we could use some healing, though.
And I'll just throw out fire three, why not? Alright, next fight. Nice, critical damage all around, and we cleared him out. We got five ability points for that fight. We got a couple dragon fangs, that's great. We definitely need those dragon fangs. And we got some ninjas. Ah, crap, I should have switched to Yoichi Bow. Oh well. These guys are susceptible to level 4 quarter. Ferris, try stealing. I'm curious what they've got. Yeah, I'll defend with Kara. Alright, good. Alright, now let's get back to the Yoichi Bow. It's around here somewhere. That save is killer. Thunder. Why do I even still have the Thunder Bow? I don't know. There it is. Alright, now we'll do X Fight. There we go, that's a little better. Just have to get those critical hits out. And we got him. They didn't drop anything though. Yeah, there's uh, another enemy out here that uh, that you could steal the best katana from. They kind of look like the Slonin enemies from the Solitary Island Shrine, kind of a Ronin samurai type enemy. You'll recognize him when you see him. But he has the best katana in the game that's even better than the Mazmune. And this place looks very familiar if you played Final F the Dissidia Final Fantasy games on the PSP. This is where the, uh, the Final Fantasy V uh, battle stage is. You know, the Dimensional Castle. Okay, you have to talk to the door to open it. It's like a, I was worried for a second, I thought I was pressing the right key. But talking to this door doesn't work, you have to be able to... You have to get all the way around and pull that switch to make this a shortcut later on. Alright, but let's head over this way first. What's over here? Yeah, we got some armor and a staircase. And yeah, we got some new enemies. Sword, Deathclaw and Sword Dancers. I believe these guys are all susceptible to level 3 flare. So that'll do some good damage. Deathclaw knows Deathclaw, so be careful about that. I'll do some healing with Kara, why not? Alright, level 3 flare. I believe the sword dancers have a move that can turn you into zombies. So it's good to wipe them out as quickly as possible. They're probably susceptible to Slash, but I'm just using a X fight now. Feels more reliable. Yeah, we had a little bit of lag there. Ah, one's left. Alright, let's just finish them off. There we go. And we got a Soft, which is fine. We have over here. We got some running shoes. Not that we really need them now, but it's good to know. It's good to have. It's too bad we couldn't get that sooner. Okay, those are some sword dancers. Uh, up here we have uh, we have an arsenal. There's a bunch of spears that we're not allowed to use. They're purely for decoration. I don't even know why those rooms are even there, other than to just flesh out the castle. And we got Thor's hammer, if you're using like a berserker type enemy, or enemy type job class or abilities, equip axes or whatnot. It's not really that useful. And we got some elixirs from that fight, some enemies from uh, Xdef's castle. Alright, we're here in the, the dungeon. We've got a lot of bosses to fight, there's a lot of crazy old guys over here. And there's a captured uh, young lady up there. Those crazy old guys, they're all boss battles, all the same enemy too, so when I fight them, I'll 
do just one up, probably only show one of them and then do the rest, but before I worry about that, this one here is the more pressing enemy to face. I'm going to take a moment to rearrange my jobs and I don't think I have to really do any rearranging, but I'm going to check my, uh, you know, just, I'll be back in a second. Alrighty, now let's take care of this guy. Are you the warriors that hold the pieces of the crystal? Nah, nope, wrong guys. Eh, there's nothing for you here. Well, that's just rude. I've actually been told that before. But that's that's a different story for a different time, I suppose. Yes, I am. I see. Then you'll die here! Ah, nuts. We got Apocalypse! This guy is technically a blue mage. He has a lot of blue magic spells. And in fact, if you hit him with a certain blue spell, he'll actually learn it and start using it against you. Uh oh, Mind Blast. Holy crap, that hit hard. I stole an elixir from him, that's cool. Alrighty. I gotta heal up Bards. He's got HP sap going on in addition to all that damage. But if you hit this guy with level 3 flare, it'll work. But then he learns it. But because none of my characters are level 3, I'm not too worried about it. He's also very uh, susceptible to poison attack, so my primary attack... I'll be using a lot of uh, bio spells from Lena next. Assuming x Fight doesn't finish the job. If you haven't learned blue magic spells, there's a good chance you can learn it from this guy, if, if you're lucky. But yeah, let's uh, send out Sildra here. The Thunderstorm! Uh-oh, there goes Bart's defense. But he's got plenty of offense, so we should be alright. Uh, black. Let's hit him with Bio. He should be having his HP sapped now in addition to everything else. I'm lucky this will finish the job. He's not that tough a boss. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah, a lot of X Death's minions do the slow uh, disintegrate death pose instead of the di usual disappearing kind. Alright, and for beating Apocalypse, we get a save point. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, do some recovering real quick, and then we're gonna start taking on those old guys. Alrighty, here we go. We got Alt Roit, or something like that. Basically, it's an old guy. Uh, I think it's actually like a mistranslation of the German for uh, old guy or something, old man or something like that. Anyway, you whittle down his HP to a certain extent, and uh, he'll actually uh, transform into a different type of enemy. I don't think any of the level spells work on him, but... Yeah, I'll use a black magic spell. Let's hit him with Bolt 3. Then he shows his true form. He becomes a uh, Jura Avis. Which means Avis Killer time! An X fight with that. Critical hits all around. You can steal a very useful lance from this enemy, the Dragon Lance. You can also steal turtle shells. I'm not sure which is more uh, common. We stole a turtle shell. Okay, I guess it's the rare drop. We'll have to do like the whole Time Mage reset thing. He's also vulnerable to uh, Odin, but. Uh, He's doing Gungnir this time. I'm not too concerned about it. These guys aren't that tough. But you could steal a Dragon Lance. It's uh, the most effective way of uh, de doing damage to a Shinryu, the other optional boss in the game. 
And we got a Dragon Fang for our troubles. This is a good way to stock up on some Dragon Fangs. I think they all drop them. Alrighty, well I will clean these old guys out and I will see you guys shortly. Alrighty, we cleared those guys out. We got some red shoes. That's a uh, dancer exclusive uh, equipment that boosts the rate of sword dance. And we got a rainbow suit, which we stole back at the Phoenix Tower. It's another dancer dancer gear. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I defeated all six of those old guys. I managed to steal two Dragoon Spears. That's about all I re really needed. Let's try to get in here. But, uh, uh-oh. Ah! Alright, we've got Catastrophe. This guy can be pretty brutal with his earth elemental attacks, but because we have float and uh, wall rings equipped, all he's gonna do is uh, cast uh, gravity 100 on us and get it bounced back onto himself. So we can basically just beat him at our leisure, just do whatever we like, but he's pretty powerful if you uh, don't use this strategy, so if he's a pushover if you got the right setup, if not, you're in for a difficult struggle, and why did I do that? Oh, I guess quick work, so I was worried for a second there. I'm like, don't, don't make that bounce off. I figured this will uh, make things move a little bit faster. Yeah, you can do pretty much whatever you like, and that finished him off. It's the end of Catastrophe. Just one less enemy we have to worry about. And Lena has mastered Blue Mage, and we got a soft for our troubles. Okay, well I'm going to change up my setup a little bit and uh, recover over at the save point. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Now let's go save that pretty girl that's sitting up there by the stairs. Oh, there she is. I was trapped in there. Thank you so much for helping me. She must have... You're so great. Mwah. It's like, all right, Barts. We've got one new... Well, it looks like we've got a new addition to Bart's harem right now. Or something like that. All right, we're progressing onward. we got to follow after her. She may know how to get through this castle. There we got the bodyguards. This, is, these, this enemy has the uh, most powerful katana in the game that you can steal from. Assuming Bards doesn't kill him. Ah, crap. Oh well. Yeah, not much else to say really, just take out the ninja however you like. That'll do the trick. We got a pinwheel we'll never use. Alright, before we take that door away, let's head over to, uh, to, uh, this staircase here. Head back into the, uh, dungeon to get this treasure chest, a man-eater. It's a dancer-exclusive dagger, the second strongest dagger in the game, I believe, next to uh, the fully-powered chicken knife, I guess. It does uh, critical damage on human-type enemies. And I think the next boss is one such enemy, so we might be able to take advantage of that. Alright, we're here. This... This path down here, this is uh, basically a shortcut if you want to retreat or retrace your steps. You can open that door so you don't have to go through the dungeon again. Alright, we got a throne. Let's go this way. Wait, what? Okay, something's a, something's amiss here. I'm going to uh, chill out on the throne for a moment and uh, do a, some uh, tweaking of my jobs. I'll be right back. Alrighty, let's try that again. Hey, what? 
You can't run away. Okay, who said that? Oh, it's the pretty girl from before. Kiss of death? No, I thought you were just coming out to... Um... Wait, 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 what? This is like... A... Einhorn is Finkel, and Finkel is Einhorn? Einhorn is a man! Get away from me! Okay, I've got Bart's as a, a dancer with the uh, man-eater uh, dagger equipped. Although that didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Uh-oh. However, Bart's also has a ribbon equipped. So, and I got Lena on black magic to... Uh, ah, crap. But there we go, sword dance. Oh yeah. Wait, I don't need to steal. He doesn't have anything anymore. But yeah, this is this guy's uh, primary uh, attack. Uh, well, his opening attack is basically to uh, turn the party into toads. Uh, Lena managed to turn herself back to normal at least. It's a start. Okay, now now our. Uh, Positions got swapped. Get back in the front row, Barts. Uh oh, Ferris. Alrighty, uh, let's do some healing. There we go. No, wait. Alright, Lena, change. What? Ah, nuts. Oh crap, he's got holy, huh? Yeah, forget, I'm just gonna blast him. But yeah, this guy, uh. Depending on how you, how you play it. He can be pretty difficult. I really should just have the guys do uh... I heard that. That works too. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Barts, you're supposed to be doing sword dance. Yeah, I don't think any of the uh... I don't think any of the level spells work on this guy, Hala Carnesso, or whatever. But he's almost finished. Steal some MP from him there. Wait, wait what am I doing? Holy. Use the holy spell! He's still going, huh? All right, we'll, do, we'll follow that up with Flare. Send out the ultimate black and white magic spells. He's not gonna last that much longer. There we go, Sword Dance, that's better. And he's still going, huh? He hasn't had enough yet. But it won't take much more. Kara has the Sage Staff equipped, so that'll do bonus damage. And he's down. The King of the Dimensional Castle has fallen. So take that. Alrighty, I'm gonna set myself up. There's one more boss here in the Dimensional Castle, and then we'll call it a day. That one shouldn't take too much more time than we've already spent. So I'm gonna reset my, uh jobs and whatnot, and I'll be back in a sec. Alrighty, let's continue on. We've got one last boss to take on. This is it. Oh, okay, that's the entrance to uh, where the void is. Oh, he's the guardian, he's not gonna let us through. Oh crap, I just realized something, I didn't uh, 
make some adjustments to my party. You're supposed to, uh... You're supposed to, uh, equip either coral rings and do physical attacks, or, uh... Or the, uh... Flame rings to guard against, uh... Atomic Ray. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Alright, I gotta get over to Kara's turn real quick. Because, uh... I can tough this out. If I don't trigger a counterattack... I have to wait... Okay. Time for Odin. True Edge! Victory! Okay, we've won. It's kind of a cheap way to end the battle, but... I'll take it. But it it's definitely helps equip either cor Coral Rings or Flame Rings before that battle. Jeez. But alright, that staircase leads to the final segment of the Cleft of Dimension. That is what we're, we, where we will be going next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy V. X-Def awaits us, and who knows what other surprises await before we even get to him. Alright, this is Phoenix Down, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys then.